Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shik. I want to try to do soft glam. Um, my regular makeup would normally be a bit heavy, and today I want to try to do soft glam. Don't worry about this hairstyle. The reason why my hair is cut, I'm going out and I want a little cream. I need a little cream natural look and then pat it in the middle and do some baby hairs with my makeup so that's the look i'm going for that's why my hair is flat um it's currently after seven i should get ready by nine o'clock so this is how my face is looking on a clean canvas i've already applied my face cream and now i'm going to apply this fit me perfect mattifying face primer so what when you're doing your makeup you want to first go in with your primer and normally because i have oily skin i normally put um some magnesia on my face but i won't be doing that today i will just be applying my primer so that the makeup can stick to my face first thing you want to apply a primer and let the primer dry down i saw it a bit stuffy because i have cold this video must go it has been a long 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 overview video and it has been a long time since your girl haven't done her makeup because i always say i don't really like to wear makeup but i'm gonna do this video for y'all i can't even do y'all if you're hearing the really nice in the background it's the fun because i'm going to let my primer dry down before applying for this no want any excessive brows i won't be drawing my brows so this is how my face is looking on a blank canvas so yeah primer is now dried down i'm going to go ahead and apply foundation to my face i'm going to go in with another shade darker than my normal skin tone the reason for this i'm going to highlight my t-zone and when i highlight my t-zone i don't want the foundation to look bright i want it to blend in you'll see what i'm talking about as soon as i get to that carmel which is um super stay and i'm going to mix that with 340 cappuccino fit me I feel like the foundation have a lot to do with how your makeup come out like i need to get some high-end foundation for the past years i've been using this um these products and i feel like i need to upgrade get some nars get some bar this way Too Faced, um get some get some other foundation and the mario i need to, i think i need to try those so as you can see it's still a bit white you should see it looks a bit brown a bit whiter than my skin so i'm going to go in with a dark color so it can have a darker look i'm going to put a little tubes of this and mix it so it can be a little bit dark just a little tubes. i love to mix my foundation i love to mix foundation to get the color that i want honestly if i don't have my shade i will mix until i achieve the shade that i want so this should be a little apply my foundation like this so when i do blend it out it blends perfect guys the difference of the foundation and not having foundation on my skin when i do my foundation like this it gives me full coverage when i put the foundation and i'm painting my skin it gives me a full coverage even though i'm doing soft girl makeup i still have to do it like this because my skin is full of dark spots i am currently working on that as you can see yeah so the dark spots are all done here Guys, I can't breathe. I really can't breathe properly. And uh, I'm going to put the rest of this on my forehead. Blend, blend. 
put some of the foundation on your ears and ensure that it works. All right, so I'm finished with the foundation. I'm now going to go in with my concealer. However, I will be using the Drew Bears concealer. So I am going with, with Barzilla. I think that's how it's pronounced. So I'm going to put a bit here. And a bit here. On the bridge of my nose and so under my chin and on my forehead. So I'm going to let the foundation the I'm going to let the concealer dry and then I'm going to go in with contouring and blush. So I'm now going to go in with my brow stick and I'm using a rude in Juvia's. So, you're gonna put a bit on your forehead, and I like to do it like that just a bit. To get the jawline, you're going to go like this. I'm gonna put a bit there, and I'm gonna put some here also because I want to hide this. So this is what I use. I'm going to blend out your contour. So I'm going to blend your contour upwards. Can you see that? It's blended out. Blend it downwards. You're going to blend the um, contour on your forehead. As you can see, my contour is blended and my concealer is drying. Mm -hmm. I like that. I do blush, but I'm, I don't think I'm a blush girly, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll put on a little pink powder or whatever to finish blending out my concealer. So now I'm going in with my setting powder brush from Real Techniques and this brush that this is a new blend of Real Techniques brushes. I'm going to go in it with it also to blend up my concealer out. So I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and blend out all the harsh lines. You don't need those harsh lines over blend using a tapping motion. I'm going to use this sponge to tap my foundation to set everything in place. I'm going to use this black opal setting powder in medium number three and tap and set my under eye. So this is what I have on the sponge. I'm going to put some in my hand and just press it. In. So I am a makeup artist by the name of Sheikha B. I work in my community and uh, yeah, I do also a hairstyle. I do hair, I do makeup. I am now a licensed beauty therapist. Oh my god, I'm such a beauty therapist and a licensed shop owner. Guys, I am so proud. Like, if you guys have one, story time, my age of aggression journey, you will see how far I am coming from. And yeah, like, 
and um, nowhere near to where I want to be, but guess what? I'm grateful. Practicing the act of gratitude always. So yeah. Not gonna lie, second spray to set this in to set my face. I don't really use this a lot but I'm going to use it tonight because I want the face to get out of the way. Uh, I cannot breathe. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. And I'm going to top off and sit under my face. Guys, this is so pigmented. Look at that. Look at this side compared to this side. Like, I love it. And pull out my hair, put on my lashes, and darken underneath my eyes because it gives me a different look. And this is how my hair is. This was somewhat what I was going for. So now I am going to um, contour using the black radiance. I'm going to pour the contour. Ooh, this is why I don't wear blush because I don't like it. Guys. I'm going to have a makeup square. Then go over with the foundation brush to blend me so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not feeling this. Once I apply that, I'm going to like the whole foundation square. But I'm going to blend it away. my face I'm going to go over with this powder so let's see become mad I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if I told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby I've been around the world but I ain't seen myself in love I'm going to know outline my But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my baby. Girl, you amaze me. Ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. Revision. I just rewatched the video and see that it is a bit blurry, but this is how my makeup turned out. I really appreciate you guys for watching. And the only thing I did different was apply my lashes, put some dark um, eyeshadow underneath my eyes, and powder contour. So I do not do reverse contour because I do not like it. So this is the look for today. If you liked this video, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to your girl Shika Beast channel and comment down below which video you want to see next. And leave a like, a comment, and a share. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for the subscribers I have so far. I'm taking my time to grow. Help me to get to a thousand subscribers by December 30th. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and see you in my next video.